Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do impossible. For this trick, you don't really need any other tricks to know, but I recommend knowing your basics and just being comfortable on your board, like 180s, front side and back side, and stuff like that. But like the only trick that would actually help you learn impossibles is a pressure flip, and that trick's harder than impossibles. If you don't know how to pressure flip, it's totally fine. You're still gonna be able to learn this trick, but if you do, it's gonna help you a lot. An impossible is a completely different motion than any other trick. You don't drag your front foot up, you don't flick, you literally don't even pop. It's a completely different motion and it's way different than any other trick, but by the end of this video, you'll be able to do it. First thing you need to know for this trick is foot position. You're gonna want your back foot in the pocket of your tail like this, and your front foot just laying around like kick foot position, or it doesn't even really matter because your front foot does absolutely nothing in this trick. And you want the toes of your back foot hanging off the board in the pocket just a little bit so you're able to pinch over and get the wrap. To get this wrap, you're not gonna pop at all with your back foot, but you're gonna push your toes down, almost like you're gonna step on the ground, and that's gonna turn your board sideways, and once your board sideways, you just sweep your back foot back and wrap it around your foot. Practice that motion for a little bit. Just roll and step on your toes and just turn that board sideways. And once you're done practicing that, Practice just standing on your board with one foot, your back foot, putting in that foot position, and then just sweeping it up and just getting that wrap. Practice this a lot because you're gonna need that wrap. And another hard thing for this trick is keeping your front foot off because you're used to every other trick where your front foot is like one of the main things. You have to drag it up, you gotta flick. And this trick, you literally just step up. You just step off your board. Your front foot is absolutely nothing. So that's going to be really hard to get used to, but just practice getting the scoop and just lifting your foot up. Okay, so once you're able to do that one foot wrap thing, you're going to want to move on to no comply possible. So you're going to start with both feet on the board, step off with your front foot, and then do that wrap that you were just practicing. And then just get that kind of fluent, because that's the motion you want. And keep the foot position in mind, because as you try this trick, you might tend to put your foot a little in the back or not like have your toes hanging off just by instinct but you're gonna always just want to keep in mind foot in the pocket toes hanging off because if you don't this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna try to flip a tray flip or do some random three shove or whatever you don't want to do that you want impossible so just keep that foot position in mind and remember to practice a lot of no compliant possibles and just getting that wrap down. Also, what I did that really helps is just roll and put pressure on your toes, almost like you're stepping on the ground. Once your board turns, cause it's gonna turn once you put pressure on the side of it, it's gonna kind of turn like primo, then scoop it back and wrap it. Do that a lot and then practice no compliant impossible and you're two steps away. The next step you need to learn is just getting that front foot in midair. You don't need to get on the board yet. You just put pressure on your toes. Once that board turns, just wrap it. And instead of putting your front foot down, jump and lift it up and then hit the wrap and then put your foot down back on the ground, not on the board yet. Practice this a lot because this is really close to impossible and this isn't that hard to get down. So once it looks like this and you practice this enough that you have it almost every try and you feel comfortable with it, then you're ready to put your front foot on. This is probably the hardest step just because of how different this trick is. And um, it might be kind of hard to fully turn it. You might be doing a 270 impossible. And if you are, that's perfectly fine. But just keep practicing it, even if you are landing sideways like that. And slowly you'll just start moving like a 360 impossible, like it's supposed to look. But if you're doing that, don't quit. It's perfectly fine. This happens to most people. So yeah, just keep practicing that over and over again. It may take a little bit, but it's gonna pay off. So just put all these steps together. And then you'll have impossible. I hope this video helped you learn impossibles. 
If it did, drop a like and subscribe and comment down any other tricks you want me to do a tutorial on.